you see this is my fifth video of this type I haven't recorded a video like this in over a year or just about a year something like that and I've had weird dreams in the past I'll link the playlist of once I dreamt up here for you guys to watch so yeah let's get into it I'm gonna start off by talking about the dream I had literally last night and I can only remember bits and pieces of it but here you go so I can't really remember what happened in the first part of the dream but what I do remember is I was pretty much undressed I think I had maybe like my underwear stuff on and I was at the doorstep of my aunt's house. It was really weird. I was like crouched down, like covering myself. I was like, oh my God, it was raining and like getting dark. And she like went up to the door and at first she was like closing. I was like, no, 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 no. I just need to shower. Just let me shower. I'll like fucking take a towel and I'll leave. I promise. She lets me in and then she like goes to bed or whatever. And the house I was in was not her house. It was some sort of like fancy mansion-esque looking thing. This house appears in my dreams a lot. It's a very huge area and everything feels very modern and all that so I go into the bathroom and I shower but like I took this like bubbly charcoal mask thing and I put it like all over my body for some reason I think I just wanted to feel like the fizziness and stuff instead of just on my face but like everywhere and then like I noticed when I got out like I showered with my hair for some reason. I think I just needed like a body rinse because I didn't bother washing my hair. But I noticed when I took down my hair, what was left like in here was completely bleached. It was terrible looking. It was so bad. Like just like bits and pieces of my black hair were completely bleached blonde. And not even in a good way, in a weird, ugly, untoned, yellow, orange kind of bleach moment. And it was just like a harsh line and it was just like, oh god, this sucks, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. So then I just started noticing that parts of my hair just became different colors. And I was like, what the hell? Like there was like a big pink strand, there was like a red strand, and like a blue strand. I was like, this is so weird. And like, I was clothed all of a sudden, I don't know what happened. I like looked to my left, fucking Billie Eilish is there. And she had like strands of specifically primary colors. I remember saying that in my dream. I was like, wow, you got like primary colors, like red, yellow, blue, just like in your hair, like bah, like little pieces of like primary colored pieces of hair. And I don't know what happened, but she was like super excited and she hugged me. And then I hear my mom's voice and she's like, oh yes, I can see how good a friends you are. And I'm like, what the hell? Oh wait, one other thing in that dream. I remember specifically like towards that part where I was at the doorstep of my aunt's house that I was telling her, I don't know how I got here. I can't remember how I got here, but I won't be here for long. I think I'm in a dream or something. And she like looked at me like I was crazy. She's like, what do you mean? I was like, listen, I d knowing that I don't remember how I got here, I know I'm not like tripping on acid or anything, but I think this is some sort of dream and I'm gonna appear in some other place soon. So don't even worry about it. So the next dream I'm going to talk about is how this one time I dreamt, not too long ago, it was me and my friend, we were going to take a like 10 day vacation down to Clearwater, Florida. And whenever I have a vacation in a dream, there's always this like little beach house that like comes to mind and like forms into my mind. It's like really beautiful and it's, it shows a nice view of the ocean and it's just real, real, real nice. What made me consider that it was a dream while I was dreaming was that this friend of mine was driving. She doesn't have a license and she's deathly afraid of driving, but she was driving. So the part of me in my dream was like, big brain, I think we're dreaming. So that was like red flag number one, that it was a dream. Red flag number two is that I couldn't recall the car ride. I've driven to Florida before and it's over 20 hours long. The fact that I could not remember the car ride by the time we got there was another sign that I kind of knew that I was dreaming. It kind of appeared there and I went to buy a swimsuit, but I couldn't find any that were in my size. But I was in like this really huge like mall place, except for the stores weren't really divided by like an open area and you just kind of like walked through it. But I ended up finding um, like this yellow and black one, I think. And we went to an indoor pool. Like, we didn't even go down to the beach. We went to some indoor pool that looked kind of like the pool that was in Days Inn. Which, and we watched a movie in there. And it was just, like, projected onto the wall of the indoor pool. So, you know, 
And that's how that dream ended. Last dream I'm going to talk about is this really strange Chicago dream I had. So my sister, Maria, she's been in my videos a few times. She had a ticket to go to a Green Day concert. This kid doesn't really listen to Green Day, but I do. I love them. And I was like uber jealous or whatever, but she wouldn't give me the ticket. But somehow I went down to the area they were gonna perform anyway. I don't think it was the United Center. There's this guy who was like calling out like seating sections. Like if you're sitting in this area, this area, this area, let's go. But that area was the lunchroom of my elementary school. Really weird. Anyway, so he was like calling out the numbers and stuff. And I was given 22, like section 22 or whatever. But I didn't see that on the list that he was calling out. So I walk up to this guy and he was like, oh no, 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 they're performing tomorrow. Another band is performing today. I was like, oh, gotcha. Suddenly it was like me, my mom and my sister at this one sort of like sit down restaurant of some sort. Like think like airport style restaurant, like not really the best, crowded, kind of boring. And the menus we got were showing a bunch of pictures of cooked meats, like chicken, fish, steaks and all that. But they're all the same kind of like ugly, mushy brown color. Like it, it looked like poo poo, like it didn't look good at all. And the waitress was, you know, giving me shit because I couldn't decide on what I wanted because everything kind of looked the same. So, so she brought food for literally everyone else but me. There was some, you know, and I kind of like threw a fit. I was like, eh, I'm hungry. But it was, it was so stupid. So then the next day, I was like looking for tickets online. And for some reason, though my dream rules made it seem okay that I ha didn't have a ticket to enter, I got in anyway. So it was like a dark stadium, and right before the show was about to happen, I woke up. So yeah, those are some of my weird dreams. I've had, I've definitely had weirder in the past. But that dream I had last night, oh my god, it like, it takes the cake for very strange because I don't know, it was, just, it was weird, man. When I woke up, I was like, I don't like this. Ew. So yeah, there's that. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. I hope you guys had a great time watching this video because I had a great time making it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.